In this lesson, you will add a boundary condition to your model. Boundary conditions are analytical model elements that define the support conditions of a structural element by its surrounding environment. These elements communicate engineering assumptions about support conditions to analysis software packages. Boundary conditions are also known as supports or restraints in some analysis packages. Click the menu browser and select Open. In the Open dialog, from the Training Files Imperial folder, open the file RST AYP 05 Boundary Conditions. Let's change the view visibility. In the Project Browser, under 3D Views, double click View 1 Analytical. Then click the View tab, and from the Graphics panel, Click Visibility Graphics. In the Visibility Graphics Overrides dialog, under Visibility, Clear Structural Foundations and Floors, and click OK. Then, zoom in around the columns located in the lower right corner of the structure. Let's add boundary conditions to the base of the structural columns. Click the Analyze tab and on the Boundary Conditions panel, click Boundary Conditions. Then on the Boundary Conditions panel, click Point. Then click the end of the blue line representing the analytical model of the beam to place the point boundary condition. Then, using the same method, add a fixed boundary condition to the next closest beam as shown. Then, click Modify. Now let's change the boundary condition properties. Click a boundary condition symbol, and while pressing Control, select the other symbol. Then, click the Element Properties drop-down and select Instance Properties. In the Instance Properties dialog, under Structural Analysis, for State, select Pinned and click OK. Clear the selection and we'll now add a line boundary condition to the base of the structural wall. Zoom and pan to display the foundation wall. Then, from the Boundary Conditions panel, click Boundary Conditions. Then, on the Boundary Conditions panel, click Line. Then, on the Options bar, for State, select Pinned. Then, click the green line representing the analytical model of the foundation to place the line boundary condition. Then, on the selection panel, click Modify. Then, close the file without saving it as the next lesson will provide its own training file. And that concludes this lesson.